I learned about love from the seeds and magic black women gifted me. My mother taught me the importance of familial love. My godmother Tasha and grandma Betty demonstrated the importance of loving your community through their organizing work in Chicago. My mentor, Dr. Derek Williams, armed me with the love of literacy and the power of having language to describe all the ideas we encountered. He introduced me to bell hooks. In his Alabama accent, he would say, NB, that's me. Man, you gotta get on his hooks, man. It changed my life. Hooks taught me how to truly understand black masculinity and love. NB, hooks, Ella Baker, and King are my go-tos on love. Bell Hooks changed my life through many writings, specifically an essay, Love as the Practice of Freedom. She refers to an ethic of love and how the discourse of love is missing from our contemporary conversations around liberation. Hooks references the Reverend Howard Thurman to demonstrate the necessity of love to nourish our souls and community. My introduction to Howard Thurman begins with her. Who was Howard Thurman? He was the Dean of Marsh Chapel here at Boston University. He was a professor of religion. He was many other things, but he refused to be confined to labels and put in a box. Thurman published Disciplines of the Spirit in 1963. He offers five core disciplines that coach the human spirit. Commitment, growth, suffering, prayer, and reconciliation. He offers a three-step love ethic. First, a desire to love. We must love because we want to receive love. It's quite simple. Love is not something people have to earn. Second, exercise a disciplined use of the imagination. Using our imaginations, we can envision many of the circumstances. The goal is to consider all realities outside of our understanding. I like to refer to this as intentional empathy. Last, there must be a sense of leisure. Though we must not love with the intention of achieving this leisure. If we have completely embraced the love ethic and love as a discipline, then we are able to love with all our being. We gain the ability to embed love within our social structures and systems. You simply cannot be an anti-racist without deep soul level work situated in love. Thurman said it best, any structure of society, any arrangement under which human beings live that does not provide maximum opportunities for free flowing circulation among one another works against social and individual health. Any attitudes, private or group, which prohibit people from coming into across the board contact with each other work against the implementation of a love ethic. This is a clear example of how essential a love ethic is for every living thing on our planet. Thurman distinguishes between love as luxury or a necessity. If we leave all the work to black women, love will remain a luxury. If we want love to become a necessity, we must all work to center a love ethic individually and in all our communities. Only then can we truly appreciate the magic all around us.